Good morning everyone and welcome to our Rhapsody reading. Today is the 5th of October and our title is Knowing His Voice Isn't a Mystery. Our shouting scripture is from John 10 verse 27 and it reads, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Pastor P says, The Lord Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John 10 verse 27 Many wonder if it's possible to hear God speak in a world where there's so many voices. The words of the Master in John 10 verse 2 to 5 clarify this. He said, But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he called his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. When he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will, will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. The key is understanding God's word. The more you study the word, the more you recognize and know the voice of God, because God and his word are one. He speaks through his word everything he tells you, every direction or guidance you receive from him always sides up with his word. Through meditation on his word, his voice becomes clearer to you, even in the midst of all the noise and distractions. If you have hitherto found it difficult to recognize God's voice, the solution is simple. Spend more time studying the word. Colossians 3 verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Proverbs 4 verse 20 to 21 says, My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. If you keep the word in your heart, you will hear the word in your heart. In addition, Pray in the spirit often. Pray in tongues. This helps to condition your spirit to discern God's voice, visions, and promptings. Hallelujah. You may repeat the prayer after me. Say, Dear Father, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. My spirit is conditioned to receive supernatural ideas, visions, and promptings. I'm sensitive and conditioned to know and walk in your perfect will for my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. And for further study, you may read 1 Samuel 3, verse 9 to 10, and Isaiah 30, verse 21. Have a wonderful day, and see you again tomorrow with another Rhapsody reading.